Hi uh, everyone, this is Edward from Hong Kong Excel and uh, I've been uh, teaching for like 400 students for math uh, including Math Studies, Math SL and Math Higher Level. So in this video I'm going to review um, the topic 1 log, okay, so all the exam questions in Math SL, okay. So after you uh, watch all the video then you understand the question type in IB exam, okay, and also you understand the basic concept of log, okay. But first of all, uh, I want to make sure that you understand what this means by log. So if I give you log 10, 100, what do you get? So log always calculate the power. So you just need to think of 10 to the power what equals to 100. So 10 to the power of, so don't say it's 10, 10 to the power of 2, because 10 power of 2, then you have 100, right? So log always calculate the power. So let me give you one more example. So if log 3, 9, then what do you get? So 3 to the power of what equals 9? So obviously it's 2, yeah? Because 3 power 2 equals 9. Okay, so that's the basic concept of log. And log is always the combination of, you can write this down, okay? Log is BRP. So this is base, and this is result, and then this one is the power, okay? So it's very easy to understand, because 3 to the power of 2, base is 3, Okay, power, 3 power 2, then you have the result of 9, yeah? And that is the basic concept of log. But obviously, uh, by knowing BRP is not enough for exam, okay? So first question type uh, in IB exam will be the basic rule of log, okay? Basic rule of log. So this is very, very easy. So basically, it's all about the three rules. But this one you have to memorize. It's not on your data booklet, okay? So log AB, you can always separate this one into log a plus log b, okay? So that's the definition. So if mul multiplication, then you have a plus, okay? But many students get confused of this one. That is, if I give you log a times log b, okay? And for this one, then it won't be equal to log a plus log b, okay? Mark this down. Because this one, they are not the same. Only in one bracket, okay? a times b, then you can break it down to log a plus log b, right? And how about log a over b, okay? If divide, then it will be minus log a minus log b, okay? So if times is plus, then divide it will be minus, right? Okay, and finally, if log a power of b, okay, so this is the power, right? You can always put the power to the front. So it will be b log a. Okay, so this three concepts, so how would, how, how would, it, uh, how would the uh, exam question look like, okay? By applying this, so basically just um, like, uh, let me give you a, an example. So let's say if you have log, 10 times 5, right? Okay, and we have um, log 10 is equal to A and then log 5 is equal to B, right? B, yeah? Okay, so how do you express this in terms of A and B, right? So then that will be like log, because that is times, so it will be log 10 plus log 5. So many students get this wrong because they just write A times B. Okay, but inside the bracket here, multiplication, then you can separate this into two, and then that will be A plus B, right? Okay, so that's the first type of question, basic rule of log, okay? And the second type of question, it will be um, solving the log equation. So solve log equation. Okay, so how do you do that? So basically, uh, let's say that uh, if the question asks you to find log 4x equals to 7, okay, and solve for x. So how do you do that? So many students get confused of this kind of question. So let me teach you one skill. So whenever you want to cancel out the log, okay, then we just need to, so this is the base, right? Okay, four, right? Then I'll just, I just need to add the same thing, okay? Same thing at the bottom. Okay, so I'll teach you a one trick. So basically log four, right? Okay, I, I just need to add something here. So whenever you want to cancel out this, then you just add the same base right here. So I raise it to the power, so this one will be like 4 log 4x equals to 4 to the power of 7, okay? So if I add 4 here, then I can cancel out the log 4, right? Okay, and then here, 4, because I add 4 on the left hand side, then you have to add 4 on the right hand side as well. And then you have x equals to 4 to the power of 7. So if next time I give you log 7x equals to 40, so how do you solve this? So easy, because I just need to raise it to the power. If I want to cancel out the log 7, so I just need to add 7 here, okay? So if you add 7 on the left-hand side, then you have to add 7 on the right-hand side as well, right? So cancel this out, x is equal to 7 to the power of 40, yeah? But if you want detailed explanation of this one, then you can uh, uh, 
register for a free trial lesson on log. So I'll explain in details for you, including all uh, including the uh, all the exam questions. Okay. So this is uh, the second type, and also uh, there are two more types in IB exam. So that is the third type is change of base okay so you need to know how to change the base of the log so let's say if i give you log 16x okay and uh, right now you don't like 16 i want to change it to uh to the base of uh let's say five i want to change the base five okay so how can i change it you cannot just simply change the number here right okay so obviously this one is not the same as this one right okay so we have to use the equation so the equation is on your data booklet have the equation uh, of the change of base rule okay so that is equal to log b a equals to log and then uh, c a over log c b it's very very confusing and very complicated right and this one's on your data booklet and i'll teach you one skill how to apply this rule okay so it's, it's very easy to understand if you have a log 16x okay how do i change it to base 5 so basically all you need to know is big over small big over small so when i say big over small is a size okay the size so let's say log 16x so which one is larger obviously x is larger right the size is larger than the 16 right then i'll put it on top big over small okay so log and then x on top log 16 at the bottom and then you change the base to five yeah and that's it so this is uh the meaning of the equation here so log 16x right then you can change the base to 5 okay by using the big over small so let me give you one, one more example so if we want to change the base of uh, log 25 uh, this one is 100 okay so I want to change it to the base of 2 so how do you do that big over small so which one is larger uh, the size so it will be log 100 over log 25 yeah and then you change the base to 2 okay so if next time you have log uh 20 20 okay and this is a uh, log uh, 10 right so then big number on top so when i say big numbers the size is bigger so not 20 on top right so log 10 over log 20 right and then you assign the base let's say this time i want to have the base of three yeah then you can assign here to be three yeah okay so this is a third uh, the third question type change of base okay and the last question type it will be uh, more popular in a reason exam. So inverse log questions. So if I ask you to uh, find the inverse of y equals to log 4x plus 2, yeah? Okay, so how do you do that? So basically you need to know that the idea of inverse, okay? Inverse is always swap x, y. So the step one for inverse is swap x, y. And then the second type, it will be, uh, the second step, it will be making the y be subject, okay? So after you know this, so first we swap the xy, right? So x equals to log 4y plus 2. And how do you make y be the subject? So obviously we need to cancel out the log 4. So I've just taught you the skill. That is, if we want to cancel out the log 4 here, then we have to add 4 at the bottom, right? So we raise it to the power. That will be 4 to the power of x. 4 log 4 cancels out. And then y plus 2. So y is equal to 4x minus 2. Okay, so this one is the answer. So this is, um, uh, that's it for the uh, log video. But if you want more uh, exam strategies, okay, so no matter uh, you're based in Hong Kong or uh, overseas students, then uh, you can just go to uh, the link below, okay, the YouTube link, and uh, you can just register for a trial lesson, okay. But for uh, Hong Kong students, obviously you can come to our centers for uh, to come for a free trial lesson, okay. So um, I'll see you next time.